of students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be learning about binomial expansion and you will be able to do 3.6. Today, students will be able to relate Pascal's triangle to binomial expansion. And what is Pascal's triangle? Pascal's triangle is where you start with a 1 on the top and then you put a 1 and a 1 here. Then you add the 1 plus 1 and you get 2 in here. And then again, you add a 1 on each side. In here, we add 1 plus 2, you get 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. And again, you add a 1 on each side. You add 3 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 plus 1 is 4. And add a 1 on each side. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 plus 1 is 5, and you add a 1 on each side. 5 plus 1 is 6, 5 plus 10 is 15, 10 and 10 is 20, 10 and 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is 6, and add 1, and so it can continue on like that. And how can we relate the Pascal triangle to binomial expansion? Let's try some without Pascal triangle and then... So in here we have x plus y to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 will always be 1. Right here we have x plus y to the first power. That's just x plus y. In here we have to multiply x plus y times x plus y two times and so if we do foil first is x squared outside is x plus y i mean x times y then inside is y times x but we put it in order so in alphabetical order is x y and finally y times y is y squared we combine like terms and we get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And let's start looking here. If you notice in here we have the 1 and the coefficients in here is 1 and 1. And then for this one is a 1, a 2, and a 1. 1, 2, 1. What do you think you're going to get for the next one? Hmm. For this one, we have, for the last one is x plus y cubed. So x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. And we already multiply right here two of them. So we can bring down that answer. So x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And we're going to multiply by the third binomial, which is x plus y. And so we're going to multiply each one in here. So x squared times x is x cubed. I'm going to write it over here. x squared times y is x squared y. Then 2xy times x and 2xy times y. So we get 2 x square y and then 2 times the second term is 2 x and y times y is y square and the last term y square times x is x y square and y square times y is y cubed now we're able to combine like terms and so I noticed that this one doesn't have any like terms, so we just write it down. Then in here we have x squared y, x squared y, we just add the coefficients, and so we get 1 plus 2 is 3 x squared y. In here we have x y squared, x y squared, so those are like terms. And we get 2 plus 1 is 3 x y squared 
and we bring down y cubed. Let's compare that to our Pascal triangle and the coefficients are 1, when we don't have a coefficient there is a 1 in there, 3, 3, and 1. So something that I want you to also notice, um, these are the coefficients. Not only that, but for the exponents, we have a 3 here, and so we have 3, 2, 1, and then x to the 0 disappears because it becomes a 1. For the y is 0, 1, 2, 3. And we'll see more examples, so that will make more sense. Okay, so having that in mind, let's start with this one. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to write these two terms as two factors. And so we're going to put x times 4, x times 4, x times 4, and x times 4. The exponent is 3, but we need to write those four times, one more than what we have for the exponent. The other thing is that we're going to bring the Pascal triangle. We notice that the exponent is a 3. The second number that is a 3 is this lane right here. And so we're going to use this for the coefficient. 1, 3, 3, 1. So 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. Next, we're going to look at this exponent and we're going to write it on the first one. So it's going to be 3, 2, 1, 0. And the last part is now we're going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's ascending for the second term. Now that we have it all set up, we can start working with what we have. So remember that anything to the power of 0 is just 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. So all you have left is x cubed for the first term. In here, 4 to the first power is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And so it's plus 12. And we just have x squared. On this one, we have 4 squared, which is 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 3, you can use your calculator or multiply in here. 3 times 6 is 18, carry 1. 3 times 1 is 3 and 1 is 4. And we just have x. And finally, x to the 0 is 1, times 1 is 1. And 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. And that'll be all. If you notice again, the exponent is 3, so 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, and for number two, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to write a times b, a times b, a times b, and we'll do that five times, a times b, and a times b. For this one, the exponent is a four, so we'll go with this row right here. So 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Okay, that's what we're going to put for the coefficients of this multiplication. So 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. And finally, we're going to get the exponent. And we're going to put, again, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And for the second term, we will put 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So first descending order and then ascending order. For the first one, we start with the exponent that we have in here. Okay, now... Again, b to the 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, so all we have is a to the 4th power. And here we just have one number, so it's 4a cubed times b. In here is going to be 6a squared b squared. 
And then in here we have 4AB cubed. And finally, this is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 times b to the fourth power is just b to the fourth power. And so that's my answer. Notice again how we have for the first one is 4, 3, 2, 1, and then 0 for a. But then for the second, for b, we have b to the 0, that's why it's not here, to the 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's another relationship that we can see. And we can see it only when there are um, variables. For number three, again, we're going to write a times b six times. One more time than this. So it's going to be x times one, x times one, x times one, x times one, whoops, x times one. One more time egg times one. For the coefficients, since the exponent is a five, we're going to use this row right here from the Pascal triangle. And so it's going to be one, five, 10, 10, five, and one. And so, for the exponents, we start at 5, going down is 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so 1 to the 0 is 1 times 1 is 1, so we just have x to the 5th power. In here, 1 to the 1st power is 1, times 5 is 5 x to the fourth power. In here, 1 to the second power is just 1 times 1. It's 1 times 10 is 10 to the times x to the third power. And here, 1 to the third power. So 1 to any power will always be 1 except for 0 or the negatives. But for any positive exponent, it will be 1. And so 1 times 10 is 10 x squared. In here, 1 to the 4th power is 1, times 5 is 5, x to the 1st power, and this is x to the 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1, and this is, again, 1 to any power that is positive is 1, so we just add 1 in here. Notice how, how in here, for x, we have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then x to the 0. Okay, number four, x plus two to the sixth power. Again, we write this times this seven times. So x times two, 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 x times two. Two, and I need one more, so I'm going to put it down here, x times 2. And for the coefficients, again, we look at the exponent. We find that on the second number of that row, and so we'll use that row, okay? So it's going to be 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6 and 1. And for the exponents of the first term, we start with that and go down. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then we go and start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We start multiplying, and so anything to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. x to the 6th power. 2 to the 1st power is 2. Times 6 is 12. x to the 5th power. Then in here, 2 to the 2nd power is 4. 
4 times 15 is 60 x to the fourth power in here 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 8 times 20 is 160 x cubed in here 2 to the fourth power is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 and 16 times 15 16 times 15 equals 240 x square and the next one is 2 to the fifth power is 32 times 6 it's 192 x and this x to the 0 is 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 to the 6th power is 64 and you can do it by finding by using the power button in here so it's just 2 you press the, the power button to the 6th power and you press equal that's 64 same here to do the fifth power to do the fifth power is 32 times 6 is 192 okay again what do we have for the exponent is a 6 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then x to the 0 so that's why there is no x in there and if you notice um, there is no second variable, so that's why we can go from 0 up to uh, 6, but it's because the second term is a number. And so when you raise that to the power, you multiply with the coefficient. That's why only x has the descending exponent. With this, we end our lesson. If you can please give us a thumbs up, subscribe around here. This is the link to the entire unit, and here you will find the next video. Now you're able to do 3.6, and have fun!